as she basically just lets him walk right through the middle. Like I said, this is just a super glitchy blend. It's deep and I have to do more with the middle, as you can see right here, though. We got an instant A gap one more time. He just gets an instant free access to the quarterback. As you can see, we just get another super easy uh, sack right up the middle. <laughs> For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. What? Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new defense for you guys today. This defense I just recently found, and I gotta be honest with you, this defense is so good that it might give me to change my playbook entirely. Now, the formation is the Dollar Sugar 3-2. I'm in the Titans playbook right now. This was when I put on my top five defensive playbooks. I'm pretty sure the Titans was on it. Uh, it was one of the, you know, it's one of the better playbooks. All the playbooks that come from uh, the Belichick tree are typically the best because they typically have uh, a good uh, amount amount of defensive formations. Uh, but ultimately, it's all about this dollar for me. And this is going to be the formation that I focus on today. One of the best things about it is, number one, you can rock safeties all across the board. You can take these linebackers out. You can actually put linebackers at your defensive end spots, which would really only come in handy if you're planning on, like, dropping them in the zones and stuff like that, which I really won't do in this formation. But ultimately, these are outside linebackers, so you really have a lot of flexibility when it comes to uh, whatever you want to put in there. You can put in defensive ends. You can put in whatever. Uh, and then you get to the, uh, the safeties in the middle. That's that's probably the most important part. What makes this different from your typical dollar, which is kind of what this looks like here, is the gaps and spacing. It doesn't really have any because your linebacker slash safeties are right in the holes. You're going to see this is going to be an outstanding run defense. So this is the formation. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my setup. Now, I already went over the cover for a drop in the previous video. This is like the number one run defense and a very good pass defense that doesn't really get a lot of pressure. But if you guys missed that and you want to see a full breakdown of this base defense, I have a link in the description for you guys to check that out. Other than that, I'm going to go over two blitzes in this video. Now, the DB Fire 2, I also went over in that original video. If you didn't catch that, don't worry about it because I'm going to go over it again in this video. I'm going to show this particular defense, and I'm also going to show the cover three sky, which I did not show in that video. This might be an even better blitz, and it's a, definitely a better deep passing defense defense than the cover two. Oh, the number one pass defense on this to me, I mean, I love cover two. I'm going to say it's the, uh, the DB fire two. So let's go and let's pick that. On the offensive side, we're just going to go random pass. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out and use discount code MONEY, or you can use discount code EMAIL, which is something that they're currently running a 6% off promotion. So it would make more sense for you. It doesn't really matter to me, honestly, at the end of the day. Uh, but you would get double the normal 3% by using discount code EMAIL. So check them out. Link in the description below. Now, as far as this setup goes, it looks it's going to look a lot like... Um, you know, the, the previous setup. I mean, all I have to do is pinch my defense one more time, QB contain, uh, guest pass, and then put my user on a blitz one more time. I have my option of bringing these safeties down, which makes a lot of sense, but ultimately, you know, you don't want to bring this guy in too far away from his responsibility because there is a receiver out there, but you could bring this guy down a lot closer, and then this is pretty much going to be the play. Like I said, I'm going to guest pass. I'm just going to basically, you know, drop back the second the play starts like you do on most blitzes in this game, uh, and then you can see we get instant pressure off the side there, which is going to be something that you can get against any look any information so watching the replay i mean it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing under center obviously is uh going to be huge uh but the running back is on a pass block he he does he play actions which takes him out of position but he is on a pass block and for some reason we get two free guys in both of the cornerbacks get him free you can see i don't know if it's because i pulled these these linemen so well but this is one of the best offensive lines in the game and i basically just pull uh you know two of the best linemen and quinn nelson and Ryan Kelly, these guys here are probably the two best linemen on the team, and they end the play blocking nobody. So you can see here, this is just something that's going to be um, a really devastating blitz. Think about this play. You don't want to bring the cornerbacks in too close. 
because you don't want him to get detected too soon. So like here, you can move uh, this cornerback out a little bit, and that's going to uh, be helpful. Um, you can also leave these guys out wide. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm pinching them in as out of you know habit when it comes to the run defense, but I'm Woo! not expecting a run. As you can see right there, I don't even know what happened. He just got right over the DT, I guess. So as we watch this replay one more time, we actually had three guys get in against five blockers. We're only sending five, and three got in free against five blockers. That's insane. So ultimately, you can see that these um, this cornerback here comes in free off the edge as he never gets touched by anybody. The cornerback on the other side does the exact same thing although fisher does get off he does switch off just in time to basically just get a piece of him but that never would have mattered and then what happened over the middle is we get an instant a gap because ultimately these guys uh, in the interior line are trying to figure out how to switch and block all these guys so the center tries to switch off the 64 i guess he never picks him up i don't know what happened there uh as he basically just lets him walk right through the middle like i said this is just a super glitchy blitz let's go let's do that one more time like i said i like the spacing where these cornerbacks are at i just want them at the line so this guy here which i can't seem to get on here brother's crying he just has to be at the line that's all uh you'll know your opponent will never really know if he's coming in on a blitz or not unless you're running this play too much which at that point uh, i guess wouldn't matter uh but then that's pretty much it then i'm just gonna put this guy i don't have to pinch the defensive line i can just leave him just like this like i said i've been slanting inside to get more success but this is pretty much going to be the look here. So ultimately, you just got to stay on for a second, back out in the running back, and then boom, we're just in the quarterback's ear in a flash. Now, the cover three sky is very similar to what I was doing with the DB Fire 2. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. This is going to be the exact same. Now, if I want to, I could send Crookshank here because he's already out here based off of the alignment, which is probably going to be the best way to go. Um, I would say, I mean, that's not typically going to be the setup, but that's pretty much how I want it. And then I'm just going to slant my defensive line outside. That's all I really got to do. It doesn't really matter, though. You could also slant them inside. It's pretty much the exact same setup, except now I'm just basically leaving myself uh, more coverage deep, and I have to do more of the <laughs> middle, as you can see right here, though. We got an instant A gap one more time. As you can see, the, the Simmons comes in just completely unblocked. Here we go one more time. Like I said, this guy here, he just, he, I don't know. Like I said, it's basically because of what I'm doing that the, the interior offensive line constantly is getting messed up. As you can see right here, I mean, he just gets an instant free access to the quarterback and it's all because of 78 reacting to me and 64 reacting to me pre-snap as you can see we just get another super easy uh sack right up the middle so i mean this is pretty much you know real simple just gonna move the, the, the safety out he should be fast enough that it really shouldn't matter move him out wide enough that it looks like he's in coverage and this is pretty much going to be the play as i just got to stay home for a half a second and basically cover we're getting a sack off of uh fairly who i basically just moved out so the only real difference when it comes to this play and the cover two play is um you know i'm basically uh getting more coverage over the middle in cover two where here i'm getting a little bit more coverage deep that's pretty much it so we're going to do this one more time like I said, on a look like this on a possible run play, I definitely would be in the cover four, but you can see, boom, we get the guy coming off the edge one more time. That's the safe that I just moved out. Very easy, getting a lot of sacks. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more uh, plays out of the Titans or more plays out of a different playbook than the playbook I've been using all year, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.